Well, good morning. We are tracking a cold front working through the area here today. That's bringing cooler air. It's also bringing northerly winds, so it may pull some of that smoke from the from the Panhandle wildfires down into our area. If you are someone who has a sensitive respiratory system, you may need to keep that in mind. It's bringing colder air, though. Temperatures that are in the upper 40s now in Waco, Temple, and Colleen. Mid 40s back towards Hamilton, Meridian, Hillsborough, and low 60s in Bryan College Station at this time. The north winds continue to blow. That's a sustained wind reading of 36 miles per hour in in Hillsborough, 22 miles per hour in Waco. So 15 to 30 miles per hour winds continue to blow across the area. And we're even seeing gusts as high as 47 miles per hour now in Hillsborough. So please take it easy on the roads as you're getting out there driving. The wind can really rock you around. So both hands on the wheel, you will need it today. And we'll keep the winds around, especially during for the first half of the day. Second half of the day, they're still around, but they will go down just a little bit. 15 mile per hour winds possible there sustained as we head into the evening. The clouds are going to be around most of the day too. We'll only see temperatures get into the low 50s. I can't rule out some rain today, but I do think most areas stay dry. It's overnight into tomorrow when we get another disturbance coming across, and that will bring us a better chance of some showers here as we get into tomorrow. There'll be light showers, though, nothing heavy, but you can see there we do have the potential for rain here tomorrow, and some of those may try to grow a little bit as they work into our eastern counties. No thunderstorms expected, and any rainfall amounts will be light, generally less than a quarter of an inch. Once that clears out, it'll actually set us up for a chilly morning on Friday with temperatures falling into likely the mid-30s. I don't expect a freeze here as we get into Friday morning, though models trying to go down that far, especially north of Waco, typically. Maybe one that we have to watch, but I don't expect a widespread freeze by any means. And then we really start to warm up by Friday with the south winds kicking back in. We're in the mid-70s, and that'll set us up for another warm-up heading on into the weekend. So your 10-day forecast looking like this. We'll call today for 53. The clouds staying pretty steady. North winds at 20 to 30 miles per hour. Those gusts even higher. Down to 42 overnight. 54 for tomorrow. Those rain chances coming in again. About a 40% chance of rain. Anything will be light. 73 Friday. Close to 80 for the weekend. And then next week's looking a little more unsettled as we get some springtime temperatures in here and some energy. We could see some thunderstorms trying to form there any day there. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. But uh, all that should be isolated. Same in the Brazos Valley. Up for 60s is where we start the day today. Those temperatures will fall through the day, though. And then look at those temperatures near 80 again this weekend.